はい、エブリワン、のりこです。今日も漢字、頑張りましょう。えー、今日は、two 漢字 is today. The first one is moon. top, the down slightly towards to the left, curved, towards to the end. And from top to left, towards to the right, go down, straight down, and a little bit up at the end, which this part we call hane in Japanese. From top to left, I mean the left to right, left to right. This one is meaning the moon, M, moon, messy, and months. Moon and months. It looks like moon. See, moon with uh, like a cloud covering it. The moon and months. In Japanese, we call this suki. Suki means also the moon and months. And there's new things today. First, suki. We call this kun yomi, kun yomi, which is the original Japanese word. When kanji came from China, Japanese people, they didn't have writing letters. So when it comes from, it came from China, there was a Chinese pronunciation, which was gets or guts. We still use this pronunciation, which we call onyomi. So, kunyomi and onyomi. There are two different types of readings. How you read it? It really depends on how we use it. So the combination with other word, it changes. I don't go too much details. We just, I want you to remember, there's onyomi, kunyomi. And this kanji means the moon and the month. Kunyomi, tsuki. Onyomi, gets gas. The next one means the sun and day. It starts from top to down, from top left towards to the right, and down, straight down. From left to right, left to right. We call this in kunyomi, ni, or b. In onyomi, ni, chi, or ni, or could it be jits. Again, which one, which reading we're we gonna use depends on the combination with other word. Uh, kunyomi is he or be. Onyomi, nich, ni, or jits. If you have Japanese dictionary or a textbook, he be written in hiragana. Kunyomi is normally written in hiragana. Onyomi is in written in kanji so you can see which one is which okay let's see the example the sunday sunday means nichi yobi nichi yobi san day it happened to be the same in english isn't it sun and the day this one, sun and day, nichiyobi. 
Nichi, the same kanji, but different way of reading. Nichi yori is Sunday. How about Monday? Monday, they call it Getsuyobi. Getsuyobi. Okay, coming, this is the moon kanji coming, but this one we call Monday. Getsuyobi. Different. How about the day and the month? For example, January the first. We call this read it as Ichi Gatsu Suitachi. So it's the next one. Ni Gatsu Futsuka. So you can guess it's. February the second. Ni ga tsu ku tsu ka. Mass is easy. Just adding 1 gats, 2 gats, 3 gats, 4 gats, 5 gats, 6 gats, 7 gats, 8 gats, 9 gats, 10 gats, 11 gats, 12 gats. Simply add number and guts. Juni guts, which means, of course, December. But for days, even though it's simply adding number and day, up till Probably 31st, Sanju, Ichi, Nichi. How to read these kanji? All different. Suitachi, Futsuka, Mika, Yoka. But I'm not going to deep about this in this lesson. Simply today, I just want you to remember Gats, Tsuki, Hi, Nichi, two kanjis. There is two way of reading. One is onyomi, which is come from China. The other one is kunyomi, which is original Japanese word. And how you read it is all depending on how it's combined. So unfortunately, you just have to remember one by one and then gradually slowly increase the vocabulary but we will just do the basics from these videos and i hope you enjoy it and you look into it with your own time and with your own own pace okay that's all for today thank you for watching see you bye